Yo, hey, what's up, guys? Many people came around and they asked me, Bronco, do you think it is useful to use increased speed and decreased speed these days if you kill heads fast enough and also kill them again, they take on a respawn? You already know it, Hydra got changed. And when they come back, they get surplus will, the buff, and you can do zero damage on them. So it is basically a disadvantage when they go super slow and you have to wait a lot of time. So we came together to test, test it actually out. Today I did three teams that have increased speed and decreased speed. Another team has just increased speed and the last team has just nothing. We are on nightmare mode right now. We have a really stacked up team. That is true, we are testing on nightmare, but the same information on the end goes for you even if you go on normal or hard mode. If you kill the heads pretty, pretty fast and also make them respawn. I can already tell if you're not in a position when you kill heads really fast and kind of make them respawn before they actually do it them automatically, then you should 100% use increase speed and decrease speed on your teams so you have more time to actually do your thing. But what if you do amazingly good damage? What happens? You make them respawn. Is it actually better to skip the decrease speed? and also the increased speed. We're gonna find out now. I prepared some screenshot. I made three teams like this. That's the first version of it. Let's just, let's, let's just take a look at it. So the first team is like this. That's what I tested first. That basically has everything that you need. And the second one just has lost the decreased speed by having just the Lydia instead of Astrid. And the third one just have a Ryan because he just gives the weekend. That is basically what we lose if we just put out Lydia or Astrid without the increased speed and decrease speed. They both give weekend, so we gotta find that. On I put Ryan in there just he has the weekend, nothing else too crazy. So I kind of thought that. And you know what? Let's go jump into those juicy, juicy screenshot and let's see what's going on. So we're gonna start with Astrid. She gives us the increased speed and the decrease speed. That will be basically our blueprint right now because later on we will change her out and we will lose decrease speed and also increase speed on the end with the other variation just changing out Astrid on the end. So the team should be able to do exactly kind of the same what they did before just obviously not having the debuffs and the buffs anymore and this time we don't want to look at the turns at all. I was measuring kind of giving them them a fair comparison so I went for the time because obviously if we don't have increased speed and decreased speed for example they will take more turns and the turn count is way higher so I didn't aim for turn counts I was actually aiming for the time so we have a nice comparison and we are here right now on yeah minute 15 or obviously 216 million that is our blueprint so that's what the team would do uh, on every team right now is also on full auto so we have been doing that kind of amount on damage and also maybe you see the champions you're like are you kidding me and all that you can apply the same effect on yourself on hard mode nightmare mode uh, normal mode and all that it doesn't change anything for you if you just not bring the things so the next team will be with lydia in the team so we are losing decrease speed did that actually hurt us <laughs> we have more turns that we the boss turns they got up obviously because we don't go or, or like they don't go so slow and we are on 15 minutes and we did actually a little bit more on this team right now it also could be a little bit luck you know how it is hydra it's never gonna be the same damage than the, than the one before so but it looks like to me they are basically in the same realm of damage Obviously, they take a little bit more turns, but if you still have everything under control, it looks like you can just freely avoid the decreased speed. But we have to do a little bit more examples than just one. But in this one particular, it looks like decreased speed is just not as viable as it was before. And it's kind of sad. It's sometimes a little bit hard to avoid decreased speed, to be honest. I, I made that with that team right here because everything was kind of stable. They didn't have decreased speed right there. And so if we run doesn't give decreased speed and all that, it was basically hard to do it. Like, for example, you have your Vizix in there because you need provoke. And yeah, <laughs> you have your decreased speed. But 
What changed? Let's just see quickly the thingy here. Oh, of course, it's a lot of like a, a couple seconds afterwards. I made the screenshot and yeah, they all do basically almost the same. It's kind of surprising me myself. Like, OK, it looks like decrease speed is not so viable as it was before. If, of course, you kill those heads fast, you make them respawn and all that, then you can might skip decrease speed and bring maybe something else that you could might be like something that's just pushing your team on the end. Let's see what the thing did without increased speed and without decreased speed. We do have the team right here where we use the Ryan. He brings the weaken, basically one thing that we could have lost, then he brings it back, but everything else is just not there. No decreased speed and no increased speed. Okay, let's be for real. Fear roll on his A1 has increased uh, decreased speed and it's sometimes out there. But it also could be a good thing if you have targeted decrease speed. So you can put decrease speed on a decapitated head and the other ones just go fast. Just saying, but there is there is some source of decrease speed in here. But like I said, it is really hard to avoid all those things. But you can see already the damage it got. It, it's huge. Like in, in this realm, without the increase speed, without the decrease speed, it's not looking as great and I probably think for all of you bring at least one source of it I would probably say increase speed because it's just easier to maybe like increase your duration and it's basically 100% on your team instead of for example an Astrid who does the attack it could weak hit it could 3% or something so I probably would say increase speed is more viable than decrease speed but you already saw on that screenshot, even if you just bring increase speed and decrease speed with an Astrid together, you should be totally fine and that doesn't hurt you too much. But on the end, we are here to get more damage out of your, our champions. And maybe instead of the Lydia, I could brought another damage dealer that does more things for us. No, I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe like a Razovark. He brings increased speed and does a ton of damage. So you have your increased speed still. But you know what I mean, just bring your other things that gives you the push and those things that are not doing you too well, you basically skip. And that's where we try to find out. Let me show you quickly the end result. It was 15 minutes, didn't do too much. And yeah, that's basically it. Whatever you do on your team, if you go normal mode or nightmare mode, if you kill them too fast, like not, not too fast, <laughs> but if you kill them kind of fast, you make them respawn then you might don't want to use decrease speed or maybe increase speed, kind of whatever you choose. I would take, say you, you want to have increased speed and yeah, <laughs> you can might skip the rest and bring maybe another damage dealer in here. But that was all of this time. We did some testings. I hope you press that like button. I hope you subscribe if you haven't done already. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> have a nice day.